Mary Can, and I am the author and illustrator of the Pinkalicious book series. And I am here today to read a story to you. And I am so excited to be here with you. I am in my beautiful studio where I write my books and I illustrate them. And I am surrounded by some of my other books. Have you read them? Have you read Pinkalicious? Purplicious? Goldalicious? Silverlicious? Emeraldalicious? Aqualicious? Peterific? Well, if you've read all those books, all I can say is you are a very good reader. Today we're going to read Purplicious. Who likes the color purple out there? Is it anybody's favorite color? Are you ready? Now, if you have your book, you can read along with me, or you can just listen to the story. Purplicious. Written by Victoria Can and Elizabeth Can. Elizabeth Can is my sister. Illustrated by Victoria Can. That means I did the artwork. I was in art class painting a picture. What are you painting? asked Kendra. A picture of a sunset, I said. Ew, it's so ugly. Pinkalicious, why does everything you paint have to have pink in it? asked Tara. Because pink is my favorite color, I answered. Don't you know, pink is passe. Passe is French for over, said Brittany. The new color is black. All the girls like black now. Do you see their paintings? Black is in, said Beatrice during recess. Pink is putrid, announced Pauline while dangling from the monkey bars. Yeah, pink stinks, added Sophia. Poor Pinkalicious. I think she's been outnumbered. On the bus ride home from school, no one would sit with me. Pink is for babies and little girls. We aren't going to be friends with a baby, taunted Tiffany. You don't have to be a baby or a little girl to like the color pink. Pink is for everyone, I said. Even my little brother likes pink. How funny! A boy who likes pink? Everyone on the bus laughed. Now, we all know that anybody can like the color pink, right? We all know that there are many boys whose favorite color is the color pink. Let's go back to the story. Isn't it time you moved beyond pink? Pinkalicious is showing a lot of courage to stand up for what she believes in, don't you think? After school, no one would play princess with me. I went to my room and counted all my pink things. I had a pink phone, a pink crayon, a pink piggy bank, pink underwear, a pink tiara, even a giant pink bunny. I had more than a hundred pink possessions. The only black thing I had was an ugly plastic spider left over from Halloween. Have you ever counted all your pink things? I wonder how many pink things you have. I wrote with my pink pen in my pink diary. Monday, pink is still perfect. Do you have a diary? I think it's great to have a diary and write in your diary every day. That week after the girls teased me in school, I wrote in my diary every day. Then I cried into my pink hanky. Tuesday, I am who I am and I like pink. Wednesday, pink makes me happy, but mean girls make me sad. Thursday, pink is a lonely color. Friday, pink has no purpose. Oh, poor Pinkalicious. I think she's been bullied a little bit, don't you? On Saturday, Mommy, Daddy, Peter, and I went to get ice cream to cheer me up. There they are, riding their bicycle built for four. Pinkalicious, what would 
would you like? asked Mr. Swizzle. Magenta mint mango, or perhaps you would enjoy pink passion fruit paradise. Today's special flavor is pleasing pomegranate punch. No thanks. I'll just have, um, uh, vanilla. I sighed, looking around to see who might see me from my school. How about you, Peter? Would you like your usual plum pink perfection? Yes, thank you, said Peter. You're such a baby, Peter. Pink ice cream is for sissies, I said. Do you think she really believes that? Is she now bullying Peter? Pinkalicious, aren't you going to eat your ice cream, asked Mommy. Well, I'm actually not that hungry. The ice cream tasted bland to me. I couldn't possibly eat it. Pinkalicious has the blues, Daddy said that night when I wouldn't play ping pong with him. What does it mean when you have the blues, I asked. It means that you feel sad. Why do you feel sad? No one will play with me because I like the color pink. All the girls like the color black now, and I don't. Are you sure all the girls like black? Maybe there are other kids who like pink. Everyone hates pink. You don't know anything, I screamed, running from my room. Oh, poor Pinkalicious. What do you think's gonna happen? I'm the only one in the whole wide world who likes pink. I am all alone. No one understands me, I said to myself. Poor Pinkalicious. She feels all alone. Now you know that when you feel all alone, you have to remember you're never all alone. What do you think's gonna happen here? On Monday, I noticed a girl in art class. She was painting a beautiful picture. What are you painting, I asked. It's a picture of a cake, but the blue frosting doesn't look right. I think I need some pink, and then it will be perfect. Really, I asked. You like pink? Don't you think pink is for babies? Pink is perfect, she answered. Watch this and you'll see why. She mixed the pink paint into the blue and the frosting turned purple. Pink is powerful, she said. Look, it turned blue into purple. Hmm, purple is pretty, I said. Not just pretty, it's purplicious. The end. Well, Pinkalicious was not all alone. Pinkalicious found a friend, and Pinkalicious found a friend that taught her all about the power of pink, how it could make purple. And purple is a beautiful, powerful color. So I hope you enjoyed my story. And I thought it might be fun to do an art activity. Would you like to do a drawing with me? So I thought we would do one of the activities from Purple Doodles. And here it is, Purple Doodles. Can you make a picture using these swirls? So I thought that would be kind of fun. And you don't need this book because all you need to do is get a piece of paper and draw a swirl. So I drew a couple of swirls. I drew one on this piece of paper and I thought it would be fun. What could you draw with that swirl? And I have my pink pen. So let's see, what is that? What can you do with that? What, do, what does it look like? Well, you could either draw a bunch of swirls all around. That would be really fun. Well, that to me, when I look at that swirl, like you could look at it from many angles. You could look at it vertically, horizontally, 
diagonally. But it kind of, you know what, it makes me think. It looks to me like smoke from a house, from a chimney. So I think I'm just going to draw a little house right here. And I'm going to maybe add another one too. And it's become beautiful smoke in a chimney. And here's, here's another one. You could come up with a lot of different ideas for a swirl. This is using your imagination. What does that look like to you? Here's the same swirl. What could it be? Well, now we did it as the smoke. But I'm looking at that. Oh, it looks to me like a whale. Does that look like a whale to you? And there's its water spout. And it's even smiling. It looked like a whale to me. Let's do one more. I've got one more. I drew it out on a piece of paper. So what are your ideas? What does that look like to you? What, what else can we make out of it? What do you think? I'm looking at it and it looks to me like a mustache. Why don't we make it into a mustache? Here it is, here's the head, here are the eyes, and we'll give it a, we'll give this man a beret. I think he's very artistic. And then we'll give him some hair. He's got a very stylish mustache. I think he needs a bow tie too, why not? Once you start drawing, it's hard to stop. It's just so much fun. Anything that you can think of, you can draw and you can do. I think you need some ears too. I think it's a very handsome mustache. Well, thank you for, for joining me for the drawings and I would love to see your drawings as well. But before we go, I'm going to answer some questions. You had some questions for me. So one of the questions is, how do I come up with the adventures of Pinkalicious and Peter? How do I come up with new ideas? Well, I am, I am always thinking about Pinkalicious and Peter. And I'm always thinking, what's, what's fun? What's fun to do? Like I think, what would be the greatest thing ever? Would it be to go on a pogo stick and jump as high as possible or get special shoes that would let you jump really high? Or would it be to listen to beautiful music and be a ballerina? Or would it be to find a shell at the beach and then maybe hope for a pearl in the shell but find a mermaid like what happened in Aqualicious? So I always think, what, what is the greatest thing? And the way that I come up with ideas is I write a lot. I write a lot of different stories, but I also take walks. And uh, often it's on those walks in, in the woods or by the beach that um, I just sort of relax and, and the ideas come to me. And I have two more questions. How do I decide each character's favorite color? Well, everybody is different and everybody has their own favorite color. And sometimes somebody might like the color pink and then a year later they might like the color blue or they might like the color purple. It changes all the time. And sometimes people really like, uh, like the character Jasmine, she loves the color yellow and it makes her feel good. And it just, it just seemed that um, that was fitting. I would love to know what your favorite colors are and you, you can tell me. And then the last question is, how do I stay connected with friends and family when I can't see them? Well, that is, that's really very, very hard. And the best way is, of course, to see your friends in person. And right now, we have to see people from kind of far apart. But um, 
Another great way is to call them on the telephone. I love to hear people's voices. That's really, really nice. And then another way to stay connected is to make a drawing and send your drawing to somebody. Everybody's going to love that. That will make everybody feel connected and then they'll know what's in your heart and they can send you a drawing back. I do that with a lot of friends and that, that is just the best thing. And then lastly, you can connect with somebody just by thinking about them and thinking of something that they did that made you laugh or that moved you in some way. And that's a great way to stay connected. So those are the questions and I just want to thank you for joining me and don't forget that purple is power and don't forget to think pink. Thank you for joining me.